Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be vlogging my first day doing cyber school. Um, it's actually a Friday right now, and I know it's really weird to like be starting my first day of like school on a Friday, but that's because I started doing cyber for the second semester of this year. And yesterday, which was Thursday, was the last day of the first semester, so today um from now on i'm gonna be doing cyber school which i don't really know what to expect i'm kind of nervous it is about 8 30 right now and it is january 18th um so yeah i'm not really doing anything today so um i guess we'll just be experiencing what cyber school is like together because i really don't know what to expect um i'm kind of nervous like what if i like don't know how to do it <laughs> And it actually sucks because my school was supposed to have half a day today and then it snowed and the weather got really bad so there's a two hour delay instead so they have to go for a full day so right about now would be the time that i would be getting on the bus literally exactly 6 39 is when my bus comes so since it's a two hour delay today i would probably be getting on the bus right about now and i actually woke up around like 5 30 today which is earlier than what i would normally wake up for school I usually wake up around like 6 so 5 30 was like super early for me i think my body's just used to like getting up early now so i couldn't even sleep in which really sucked so yeah i'm just gonna be starting my day right about now i'm probably gonna clean my room first and then get like a really quick shower because i washed my hair last night i actually have to sign into homeroom at 1 45 so i could take my classes before that but i just have to be like signed in at 145 so i have an alarm set on my phone for 145 so yeah i'm just gonna be getting up and cleaning my room now probably see you guys next after my shower also people say that like cyber school makes you like antisocial and it's really boring because like you don't talk to people but like i honestly would so prefer it that way i honestly don't really talk to many people in school anyways i only talk to like two or three people and those two or three people i hang out with outside of school anyways also, sorry for like the really bad lighting and like if I look orange, I already talked about how my camera makes me look like really yellow toned and that's because it's like dark in here and I'm using my like table like side lamp so it's like really orange. Um, obviously I don't have my ring light set up over here but I'm going to take a really quick shower now and then I will see you guys after that. So I just got out of the shower, it is like about 9.30 now. And I'm going to get dressed and then I'm going to clean out my book bag with you guys. I am obviously now dressed and I'm setting up like my normal like filming setup that I do for like obviously when I film videos. Um, so I can show you guys and kind of like declutter and empty out my book bag. Here are all of the packets that I don't need so um, I'm going to be throwing those out. My folders actually hold up pretty good. I know it's only the end of the first semester, but they usually end up looking like this by the end of the year. What else do we got here? We have our electives. Oh, that freaking research paper. Oh, I hated this class so much. We literally had to do so much work. And I'm not like one of those people like, oh my God, I hate that class. We actually do work. Like, I love work. But, like, this class was just, like, wild. Like, it was too much. We don't need those. Um, but down here we just have some, like, trash, I guess. I don't even know what this is. Um, I actually kept this in my book bag all the time because I would sometimes straighten my hair, like, in the middle of class or go to the bathroom and do it. Um... Yeah, this thing saved me lots of times. I had money in my book bag. Literally all those times when I asked people for money and I had my own. Um, um, 
a hall pass which I never used. Oh my god, this was the freaking pass that I wrote myself with this pen because I was late to class. Now tell me that signature looks legit, but like what is that time? Like no one's gonna believe that. Oh, that's why. Okay, well, obviously throwing that out. I'm probably gonna go downstairs and just like not log into homeroom yet because it's only what, like, it's only like 9.50. So I'm not gonna log into homeroom yet because I have till 1.45 to do that. But I'm just gonna like kind of go on the website and check out like how it works and like the classes and things like that that I have to take. Okay, so I am now down at like the desk that I would do my work at for cyber school. Um, I have a whole video up for shopping for supplies and like setting this whole thing up. Um, so if you want to see that, the link to the video will be in the top of the description below. But um, I added a couple new things. I have like a little calendar so I can stay really organized. I have some sticky notes with my information on it, like my login stuff. And then some cute motivational stickers. Okay, so this computer was actually given to me by the school, so everything's, like, kind of set up, like, how it needs to be. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to show you this part, so I'm not going to, but it basically just has, like, a little login thing down there. All of my information is already put in, so I just click login, and, okay, it is all right here. I'm just gonna view my lessons because I don't want to actually do any work right now. Um, so it gives you your courses list. So for spring or the second semester, I'm taking chemistry and world history. So let's go into chemistry real quick. And there's modules. So basically there's like modules and you have to finish like, I think it's one module per week. Um, which that isn't bad. I don't know what the work looks like. I don't know how much work there actually is. I haven't seen it yet. But module one is matter and change part one. So down here I have all of my textbooks. This is my chemistry textbook. So I'm guessing it means like pages three to five in here. And then let's do that. And then the assignment for that. We write the answers into Microsoft Word document on a separate sheet of paper. All right, pages three to five. Okay, so matter and change. Chemistry is a physical science, the natural sciences. I hate reading. Like, I hate it. I never read. Like, ever. The natural sciences were once divided into broad categories. The biological sciences and why does this behavior... Okay, I'm not going to sit here and, like, give you guys a lesson because, like, you're not here to, like, learn. You're here to watch me learn. So, um, I guess we're going to read pages 3 to 5, which is basically this page and then these two pages um and then there's like a little section review down at the bottom and there's like questions number one is define chemistry and literally there's chemistry's definition is right there so this should be pretty easy it also gives us options to watch videos i don't know if that's like reading or watching the video or like doing all of it um it doesn't really specify okay so chemistry Okay, so we have number one down, and for number two, it says, name six branches of study in chemistry, and literally, it has the branches of chemistry listed right here. Okay, so we got the six branches of study in chemistry. We have organic, inorganic, physical, analytical, biochemistry, and then theoretical. And then for number three, it says, compare and contrast basic research, applied research, and technological development, which basic research applied research and technical development is all right here so i'm going to read those three paragraphs real quick and then compare and contrast them for number three and then i will be all done for module one all right so i'm actually going to take a little break just for a bit i finished up with module one for history i'm going to eat because it's almost 12 o'clock so i'm going to probably make myself a bagel and
So I went upstairs at around 12 o'clock to take a little lunch break and then I went back down at around 12.30 when I finished up with my bagel and I was working all the way until 4 o'clock. So I finished modules 1 and 2 of both chemistry and history. So basically that's the work that you're seeing me do right here. I didn't vlog every single second of the rest of my day just because it was me really trying to focus on my work and figure out what I had to do correctly. This video does end at a really weird point and I'm sorry for that, but that is just because, like I said, I stopped vlogging after around 4 o'clock when I finished up with my work because I was super tired. I really hope you guys can understand. But I mean, this video was kind of just for you guys to experience the first day of cyber school with me and how it actually works, not what the actual work was because I didn't want to bore you guys to death. So that is where I'm going to end off this vlog. I plan on doing like an updated cyber school vlog later on in the future when I actually understand how it works in that. So if you would be interested in that, don't forget to subscribe and turn on my notifications. But yeah, that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also comment down below if you do public school private school or cyber school because I'm curious. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so, so much and bye guys.